Hi, I'm Cliff, and this is my garage, and I just bought a self-sharpening mower blade. How does that work? Sorcery, the only explanation. Hey, welcome back to the garage. And if this is your first time joining me, thanks for dropping by. This is my brand new Kubota Z421 zero turn mower. I'm gonna have a lot more to say about this machine in a future episode, but let me just lead off by saying, this thing is awesome. It is the best riding mower I've ever owned. And our old John Deere Z425 mower it's not a bad mower, but oh my goodness, this is such an amazing upgrade to the old machine. I did a ton of research on various zero-turn mowers before settling on the Z421, and I seriously considered Kubota's entry-level Z200 series mower, but this thing was just, it was too good of a bargain to pass up for just like $1,100 more than the other mower. That's not really the point of today's video. While doing research on it, I was checking out the mower blades, making sure that it didn't use some kind of oddball mower blade that was going to be real expensive. And I stumbled across something called a laser edge ever sharp blade. And it claimed to be self sharpening that it, um, what's the phrase they use? It cuts itself sharp. And, you know, my initial reaction was, yeah, right. And I just, I looked at it a little more and they were talking about where you could buy it. I thought, okay, well, how much are these things? And it said for, it was available for the Kubota Z421 and you could get it at your local Kubota dealer. Well, that kind of changed my attitude toward it a little bit because I thought, well, if the only place you could get it for Kubota's was at the Kubota dealer, that lends a certain amount of uh, credibility to the product because if Kubota will carry it and stock it, it, it can't be, you know, like a complete ripoff or, or you know, a, a joke or as someone I saw refer to it as snake oil. And so I started looking at, well, how, how does this thing work? And the way it works, my, my, my initial thought was, okay, this thing has some kind of a, a built-in uh, like whetstone or uh, filing system, and you stick it on there and run the blades and it sharpens them. No, that's not it. This literally sharpens itself, or it's supposed to sharpen itself, while you're doing your regular lawn cutting. And the way it does that is through a clever little bit of metallurgy. I don't have an old mower blade laying around to show you how a regular blade would wear out. So I'm going to kind of show you on this blade out of a bush hog mower. Same basic idea applies. Now, when you've got your sharp edge here on a new blade, of course, it cuts really nicely. But as that grass is beating against this leading edge here, it wears it away and it's wearing away both the top and the bottom surfaces of the blade also. So the result is this gets kind of rounded over and blunted. The, uh, the bottom edge gets a little higher, the top edge gets a little lower, and this front edge wears backwards. With the laser edge blade, they've started with an ordinary blade. It's made out of ordinary steel and it's sharpened just like a regular blade is. But the clever bit is on the bottom they've attached a small piece of very hard, very wear resistant steel. So now what happens is as the front edge of the blade wears away, the top keeps wearing away and moving backwards like normal. But the bottom edge, since it's more resistant to wear, is going to tend to wear away more slowly. So the, the very sharp, very thin leading edge of the really hard steel keeps getting exposed more and more. As it wears away, the regular steel is wearing away even faster. And so it tends to just keep exposing this really hard piece here. And that's how it, quote, cuts itself sharp. It, in theory, 
should work, and it's a very clever idea. Of course, one question that comes to mind right away is, how much do these things cost? And they are about twice as expensive as a regular blade. But we're talking about $100 versus $50. So really, if these things work and they stay sharp and they cut well throughout the entire season, maybe even longer, maybe a couple, three seasons, I think they will be well worth it because it means never having to sharpen your blades and always having a good cut. So these things intrigue me. And given that I had just purchased the mower, it gives me a unique opportunity to try these blades out in a controlled way. What I've done is I've only purchased one and I'm going to install it in the middle blade position and then leave the regular blades on the two outside positions. Now these blades have only got about an hour of cut time on them, so they're basically brand new and I feel safe comparing them to a brand new laser sharp blade. So I'm gonna install just the one and leave it on and let's say after 10 hours or so, take a look at them and compare. How do these look compared with the regular blades I've left on. And then at 20 hours and you know however many hours you put on the mower this summer. So we'll be back with several, hopefully, short episodes comparing the cut quality and whether these things will actually stay sharp by themselves. It should be an interesting experiment and well, we'll see how it goes. I put the mower up on the lift to make this a lot easier job than it would with it on the floor. Just feeling here, yeah, these blades, they're still fairly sharp, so this is going to make a good fair test. A one and three sixteenths socket on here, make sure you've got this on remove. Yep, let's take this off. A bolt going back on with a plethora of washers. Let's see here. Nope. Thought maybe the blade was keyed somehow, but it is not. The washer, however, is keyed. That's a little strange. Go back to tighten, double check, make sure we've installed this correctly. Okay, I think we're good. This is going to be interesting. I'm really anxious to see how this is going to work out, to see whether these blades, you know, really work at all, if they're any better. I'll be checking back in probably a month or so. Uh, let's say well, I don't really want to throw a definite time, but maybe around at around 10 hours of use, we'll check back and see how the blades are doing. You know, how if I can tell by just feeling and looking at them if there's any real difference. And then we'll check back in in you know a month, another month or so. And like I was saying, at the end of the season, we'll which is um, eh, probably around October. We'll check back in and do a final look at how the blades held up and whether the ever sharp or the, you know, the laser sharp, the laser edge ever sharp blades are worth the 100% premium that they charge for them. As always, everyone, thank you for watching and sharing my videos. I really do appreciate it. And thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, last time I told you we were in the 820s, here it is, it's just a few days later, we're almost at 850, so wow, it's accelerating. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for subscribing, and thank you so much, especially if you share. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, just go on down there, find that subscribe button, and click on that, that way you'll be part of our gang. And also, right next to it, there's a little bell. Click on that bell, and that turns on YouTube's notification system. That way, you'll get an email and a message from the YouTube app 
every time that I post new content from here in Cliff's Garage. I'll see you next time.